Equality California has been transforming the state's political LGBT landscape for over a decade. Ten years ago, the organization did not exist in any meaningful way. It has now become the most successful, time-tested, proven LGBT state lobbying organization in the country. And it has transformed in the process the lives of millions of individuals. Before Equality California existed, uh, California was not doing very well in terms of protecting uh, the LGBT population. We didn't even have basic uh, protections around housing or employment discrimination. And California now has the broadest protections for gay people in the entire country. And that's for one reason, and almost one reason only, and that is EQCA's incredible leadership. We could not do our legislative work in Sacramento without the assistance of Equality California, and I mean that very sincerely. Having a sponsor for a bill is critically important, but to have a sponsor like Equality California is to have the best of the best. With Equality California's support, the legislature has passed many landmark bills on everything from domestic partnerships to non-discrimination in schools, housing, and employment. You must deny my humanity if you don't want me to be able to marry my partner. I do not deserve any right that cannot be afforded to you. But I never heard a peep about Harvey Milk and school, never a single word about any LGBT person of any consequence. That is why it's so vitally important that we ensure young LGBT people have the opportunity to learn that they had a forefather who loved them for who they are, fought for them, and was even willing to give his own life to ensure that they might have better lives today. That man was Harvey Milk. Because Equality California mobilized troops and advanced the candidacy of those who supported us, they got the benefit of our community support because they supported us. We were the margin of victory in any number of campaigns. Elected officials want to partner with EQCA on important legislation and moving an agenda of equality and fairness and justice forward. Uh, they've completely, the organization has completely transformed the legislative and political landscape for LGBT folks. When I'm in that booth to be able to vote for somebody who I know is fair-minded, who I know is inclusive, who I know is broad-minded. Uh, as a citizen, I don't think I could ask for more, and I don't think I deserve less. You look at marriage equality, the issue of the day, but ultimately, whether it's marriage equality, it's workplace equality, it's housing equality, it doesn't matter, it's equality. So we need to be out there educating the public, we need to be out there building a grassroots field army. We need to be out there building coalitions with every group working for social justice. You know, Equality California's success has come from the amazing coalitions that we have working with us and that we've built here in California. That partnership and that meaningful relationship and the mutual respect and the sense of shared goals and values has catapulted our work to a stage and a level that, I ne that we never would have been able to achieve by ourselves. We are with the gays and les lesbian community on this issue. As a Latino, uh, I have faced discrimination. My parents have faced discrimination. Many of us on this floor have faced discrimination. It doesn't matter what the reason is. The consequences are the same. Here's how we're gonna win marriage back in, in California. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. It's tried and true method. First is we need to tell our stories. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. So what we're doing is we're organizing to make sure that happens. Um, lots of people say it's gonna happen, but what we're doing at Equality California is making sure that it's going to happen by hiring organizers on the ground to go out and, just like Harvey Milk said, to go out and tell their stories, talk about who they are, that's what changes hearts and minds on this issue. And that's what this campaign is going to be all about. 
our team of organizers and the volunteers and activists who are working with them kind of on the front lines have already had thousands of conversations. We like to track a lot of things on Team Win, so we actually know that we're changing about 20% of the people who are undecided or who voted against us last time to be more supportive of marriage equality. If we do our work correctly, the next generation will grow up in a world where they only learn about discrimination in their history textbooks and where they'll feel free to walk down the streets or leave and gay bar without fear of getting beaten up, where they can dream to grow up to be whoever they want and where they can marry the person they love.